So next I'd like to demonstrate some of the uh, hand positions that are commonly used in a polarity session. And our first one would be the occipital cradle. And this is a light to medium pressure on the muscles attaching the head to the neck. Our next hand position will be rocking the foot. Stimulating the feet is uh, very useful in polarity and we're using quite a vigorous rocking motion. This is our second of the three touches. Quite a vigorous rocking motion. We do both sides. And then after we've done the rocking, then make a light contact and wait and listen for the pulse to come through. It can take two or three minutes. Be patient. The whole point of polarity is to get the circulation, the energy flow going and there's a lag effect. It doesn't happen instantly. Let a little time go by with any of these contacts. Our next hand position we'll call the tummy rock. And here we let the hand just gently rock the whole body from the umbilical area. The other hand can make contacts around the perimeter. and especially of interest is the forehead area. These hand positions, these locations on the body are all part of Dr. Stone's map of energy anatomy in the body. And as we did before, after the stimulating contact, there is a light listening. And you wait with the listening until the flow can be palpated as a light pulsation. Another hand position for a polarity therapy session involves an energy configuration or map called the five-pointed star. Dr. Stone talked about how points in the hips are related to the opposite shoulder, like this, and to the throat, like this. Also, this central area where the lines all cross, respiratory diaphragm, is considered very important. So here we could use a deep contact, and again, starting with the hip, making a firm contact at the hip. It could be combined with a little rocking in the shoulder, or a light touch at the throat, right on the Adam's apple. And again, with each hand position, we use the initial contact to get the energy moving, but we really emphasize the listening aspect of it. Spend as much time listening, wait for that pul uh, pulsation to come through before you move on. Our next hand position is the path of fire, so-called. And for this one, we're going to hold the first knuckle of the second toe <coughs> on both feet, right below the toenail, the first knuckle, and we're going to give it a squeeze. And this is an example of the deep touch. And we're just going to squeeze pretty firmly to the point where we can observe there's a bit of a response in the client. And after a moment or so, we then shift to a light touch and listen for the palpation. It can take two or three minutes, so be patient. So then our completion of our general session in this demonstration would be a return to the suboccipital contact. And here we have an opportunity to compare the sense of what the system is doing after the treatment compared to before. And in this contact, very familiar to your cranial sacral therapist, just once again emphasizing that from a polarity perspective, we are not focusing on the cranial rhythm, the mid-tide or long-tide. We're just palpating the flow in the body as a general sense.